All right, welcome back everybody to High Stakes. We are about to give away $15,000 cash know, to the right? winner. Isn't that amazing? This right. is exciting. This is great. This, this, is, this is really high stakes. When I was talking about the exceptional pinball players earlier, mm -hmm. these are the four right here. Right. Let's like, describe the battlefield. First of all, the scores themselves. Mm -hmm. All right, there were certain games that I just totally eliminated from my list. Johnny Mnemonic, where you have to get multiple tens of billions to even have a discussion. Have you seen the highest score on there? 150, the right? Is, what did Escher have, like 150? I think 142 billion. It's absolutely ridiculous. It so insane. I did not play it for that reason, because <laughs> it's ticket-based, so you gotta be, have to be consistent. I'll get yeah. my your six, seven, eight billion. That no, no, no discussion. Nothing. Uh, you have it, to come it was, more correct. It was excellent putting up twenty billion on there, and right. then you look at your card. You're right. like, holy crap! I'm twenty fifth. It's like, oh, like, and yeah. oh man, what do you what? do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? I but, don't yeah. think we're gonna see Johnny though. At least not for the first game. Really, it's been dominated by Grand Prix, right? Alien Star, what have so we seen? So the first round, uh, Kaylee is the highest seed. He already picked Johnny, he picked Grand Prix, and he picked Getaway. So we are starting with Blackjack right now. Oh wait, I am totally wrong here. Robert moved on, I didn't pay attention. Robert moves on and Robert is the highest seed. Oh yeah. And yeah. I actually do not know what he picked in the first round. Uh, I believe in his round, you know what? He just got done telling me just a second ago, and I'm drawing a complete blank. I know, obviously, Blackjack, he did not pick it. He no. deferred that. That's how he got to play it earlier. If you guys all saw earlier, he was wearing the wrestler gear and all that. I don't think he, he can't do that this round. No, well, he, he, he had advanced. So right, that's why right. He was real yeah. comfortable with right. things. So I would like to see him try that with Kaylee and Keith. Yeah, do yeah. that live. Yeah, the, the, yeah, let's see. Well, if he is doing that, then that must mean he's winning. So right. okay, so if he breaks out the mask again, we maybe we're, give, we're on the way to giving him fifteen thousand dollars. No mask, no mask here. How is everybody going to play blackjack? Hope and pray for the luck gods of the hand. I mean, <laughs> I right. mean that's going to be one thing. I mean, you can control it. It's those nice targets that will make you drain right down the middle. Yeah, that's a <laughs> nice amount of control you can have right here. Yeah. Right now, he is, in fact, winning the hand. You can see in the two hands in the middle, we have the player's hand. Yeah, Robert lost that hand. So, and uh, hand. <laughs> right. how, how much money is on the line currently for right. these the four competitors? Gets $15,000. And That's then there's other prizes, which I don't remember, but it's less than that. But 8000 yeah. for number two, less for number three, and even less for number four. But, but more than 1400 though. More than 1400 yeah, I, be yes. I believe it's a little over $30,000 right. in total prize just for yeah. these four right here. So I mean, amazing. this is really high stakes. When yes. high stakes started, it was 50 per cart in like previous tournaments. And I remember Kaylee saying like, this isn't really high stakes. Now, everybody that played in this tournament paid $500 for 10 carts. So you pay $500, that, that's really high stakes. Right, this is right up his alley too. This is right if, up his if alley. If anything Kaylee likes. It even is if he loses, he just finds it fun. Right, exactly. <laughs> but right. even though Robert, like that's probably not how you play this game, by letting your ball drain right away. <laughs> but how do you play this game? You have the well, player's hand, you have the dealer's hand, you right. want to win your hands. We'll and I think win you hands. win your hands by shooting it into the scoop that's on the right side right. of the, the play field, right? The upper right scoop. The upper right scoop judges your hand, mm -hmm. right? And ties do not win. There are certain settings where ties will win. This is a conservative setting where ties lose. So your player's hand must be greater than the dealer's hand. If it is, then you get a multiplier, 2x first time, 3x second time, mm -hmm. 5x third time, and then the extra ball on the fourth time, and then the special points on the fifth time. If you get that far, you're having a really good yeah. ball at that point. You're probably going to win. But the bonus X is only worth it if you uh, build up your bonus, right? Right. Which I see the spinner is doing really nicely. Good move. By the spinners Bader. here at this tournament have been very nice. Good job. Oh, uh, he deserved to get that back, I think, because he did some great moves and didn't tilt any of that. So everyone else has seen that now. That was a very good try for Jermaine on getting his ball back. but. And he just got done having an excellent game on this here just a few minutes ago, as a matter of fact, oh, did right? He? So he should be very much warmed up for this particular game. I do feel that on some of these games, it's not always guaranteed. No. Graffiti will send the ball down the middle, and sometimes there's nothing you can do. 
Well, and the other thing to mention, too, is, you know, Keith Elwin and Kaylee George, they're two of the best that have ever played this game. Mm -hmm. So giving them an opening after ball one in the finals, that's not what you want to do necessarily. No. So we'll see if Elwin can, can capitalize right here. Well, another thing about this game, the hidden MVP of the top lanes. If you complete yep. all four top lanes, then your spinner goes from 10 to 1,000, and that could be the game breaker because that's a reliable point scorer right there as opposed to being judged on the hand. So basically what you want to do is just keep sending it on top. Keep shooting that spinner, keep getting it on top, hoping that you will complete those lanes. And then once you do, you keep shooting the spinner. Great save, Keith. So you're saying we need to give Kaylee a repeatable shot, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, think, I think Keith also knows what to do with repeatable shots. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Jermaine probably has some practice with them too. Otherwise you don't make it into uh, the finals of high stakes. No, that's <laughs> correct. Now I pointed out a hidden MVP. I'm going to point out a hidden enemy on this game. And that is the post that is right beside the words that say advanced bonus, right in that spinner. That is the enemy of everyone that is the bane of existence. That post blocks so many shots to the spinner. Mm. And we're going to see a lot of shots bounce off that post that aren't true shots to the spinner. And it's very frustrating because when it comes off that post, it goes into danger. And how you need to adjust from that is going to determine the winner and losers of this game. It seemed like that thousand pop bumper has also been uh, an enemy of Robert and Keith alike. I think they, Robert's was quicker, but they both drained in the same way. It was like straight down the middle from the pop bumpers. Right, and you know, plus with uh, Keith's drain as well, I mean, it, you kind of, sometimes you want to make a big move early on. Other times you're just better off. If you know you're done, you're done. Take your bonus, move on, get your points where you can get them. Yeah. Great nice. recovery. Yeah, nice shot to the top there. All right, got two lanes, and he's losing this hand, so get the 5,000. But that's it. Trying to get control of the ball again. Spinner shot, possibly. Yeah, that's that post you were talking about. There you go. It didn't drain him, but it definitely made it difficult. He is winning the hand, so if he... All right, let's see where, where, where his status is now. Is he changing the dealer's hand, and they're tied? Oh, look at that. He's, He's gonna, got all oh. of his top lanes. Here we Spinner go. Spinner is lit. Cash in. First get control of the ball. Some beautiful saves right there. That is mm -hmm. very difficult, what he's doing right now. Post again. Maybe there's a magnet in that post. Oh, just give him one chance at it. Here it is. This is the chance. There Cash we go. in 10, 20, 30. Almost over 30,000 for that one shot. The ball's dancing around a little scoop. Now he is winning the hand, so if he takes this saucer shot, he will get a multiplier. But notice what he was doing there. He said, forget all that. I'm going spinner. Yeah, right. Kaylee is a spinner, spinner. guy. Yep. Yeah. He so found he, the repeatable shot, said, and he's going to go for it. I'm going to go yeah. spinner, because what happens when you go into saucer? It's going to get thrown into chaos, so he doesn't want that. He wants the spinner shot, which I guess is going to have some less chaos, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> At least it adds points to the chaos. Right. And you can see, like, he's definitely in the lead right now after ball one. Robert yeah, uh, yep. is, keeps losing his hand. And he's very disappointed at these 5,000s because yep. he's not winning them. Oh, all right, now he is winning that hand. He'll there get a multiplier. Go. Good job. Can you get a bounce in, maybe? A little bit of an extra help. There we go. Another win. 3x. How about one more for 5x? Oh, he's going to have 21. And he's and losing that hand. Sorry, Robert. Ooh, nice job digging that out. He was hanging out in Is the that bad gonna, area. No, oh. he wouldn't be able to save that one. But he does take 60,000 with him on his way out. 
Now, we've all been there before. If we've done something like that, that's where we start second-guessing ourselves. <laughs> and we see if we can make the adjustment the next ball to decide whether or not we're going to send that ball next time or not. And I feel like even that left spinner, that's a good bailout shot right there for this yeah. game. So I'm curious to see if he makes that adjustment on his next ball. Yeah, yeah. That must be why that post is there to stop just rampant bailing out because mm -hmm. it is an evil post. Yeah. So let's see what Jermaine can do on this ball. Right now he is losing the hand, but he's only one spin away from winning it. Ah, oh, that was a heat seeking missile down the middle. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with slow he death. Just, yeah, he just couldn't get control of that ball, and the ball just almost wanted to drain. This, this is a three-ball game, question in the chat. Yes, this is a three-ball game. So you've got to get your points now. The only five-ball games we have here are the uh, EMs. Mm. All right, here we go. What will he get? Although people are allowed wow. to play their extra balls. Correct. All right, so when uh, Kaylee steps back up, he will be winning the hand. <laughs> so we know what Kaylee's going to do. He's all in right now on spinner, right? Yeah, he's spinner yeah. all day. Yeah, he's like, let's, let's complete the lanes. But while he doesn't have that, while he doesn't have the top lanes, let's see if he, if, he tries a, if he tries the saucer. You can plunge the saucer if you hit it off the left and force it to the right. So It'll here's, fall here's in there. the thing. Like, is it worth it to go for the saucer if you have no bonus to multiply yet? Well, you are setting up a, po a possibility. It's potential. True. But if you've got like, if you have like a shot to like build your bonus first and then try and multiply it, it's not a bad idea. Because you can like shoot that scoop and then like this, like get the scoop and not really have any bonus that you multiplied. Correct. Well, I think right there with that drain, we see now why Kaylee's decided that he's probably going to go spinner whole mm -hmm. time. I mean, it, you're seeing high level thinking from a competitive pinball perspective with that. That's a nice in lane oh, right there. Got that back. Okay. <laughs> this is in a bad way. We need to recover now, Robert. Okay. There we he go. has done okay. it. Let the ball let the ball sit. All right. Let's take that shot. 5000. That was one spin too many for him. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was like, "No." No, no. All right, no post, no post, no post. All right. Spin it up. Oh, he doesn't get the top lane for his trouble, and he doesn't win the hand. Oh, he's one spin away. That was cold because when the ball left, it spun one more time. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty and cold. He, so he can change his hand by shooting one of those those shots, like one of those targets on the play field, but those are dangerous shots to make. He's trying to wheel the ball in the saucer there. There we go. Good job. 3x. 3 times 19. This can get pretty serious if you get the 5x. Nope. You're tied. Okay. Yeah, deaden it. Do something. Hit it. <laughs> Beg, plead, pray, <laughs> something. Okay. De dealer's winning right now. He's probably going to go for the spinner. There we go. And he oh, is, all right. Wow. He, he's getting no luck with the top lanes, though. Hey, but he won that hand, though. He did, he did win that hand. He said he's got his extra ball lit. Ooh. Oh. He thought he brought it back. <laughs> he really yeah. thought he brought yeah, it back. Yeah. You can see his eyes widen like, okay, I did it right. Oh, no, I did not. But the great thing is, for as big of a move that that could have potentially been, he did not tilt. He didn't tilt, no. right. He brought a lot of bonus along with Look him Look at there. that bonus. It's still counting down. 5x bonus. It's a huge ball. Yes. Once again, this is high stakes, everybody. The winner is going to get $15,000. So three-game series. First place gets four points, second two, third one, and fourth zero points in, this, in these three-game series. All right, so right now Jermaine is tied, so he's kind of in half jail here. Let's see what he does. He'll take the 5,000, and he will not even get that. Oh, man. That was stingy. It's always so annoying when that happens. You're like making the shot and the ball just dances around it and yep. doesn't even go in. But on the bright side, easy feed back to the flipper. It's, yes. it's when it goes into complete chaos that it gets incredibly frustrating. Yes, which is, oh, goes back in. Jermaine likes it. 
Right, he'll take another 5,000 or will he try to change the hand? Because right now he's losing the hand, so he'll only get 5,000 and that's it. That's why the, the the shaking of the head of frustration, that's what this is. Because mm -hmm. he knows he's, oh, now he's winning the hand. Now he but looked like he took a direct shot at the targets there. It did look like it, yeah. Nice alley pass there. Now he's going to try and make that shot there and he does it. <laughs> Lovely, yep. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Oh, oh, found a way through the gap there. All right, keep stepping up. Keep going for some power in lanes. Needing 200,000 to come back. Now, when he goes through a top lane, he will win. He will be winning the hand now. And now he's losing because <laughs> they had to spin just a, a couple more times. It could spin one more time so he could be winning the hand again. Okay. Oh, oh wow. really? You're going to stop on 21? <laughs> really? Just like the real thing. That's this game. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow the dealer finds 21. Hey, the house always wins, right? <laughs> Oh, it changed right before you could cash it in. Great move there. <laughs> like, really Come on. <laughs> he wants those top lanes. Where's my hand? Come on. Where is it? Still not there. Okay. Remind me not to go to the casino with Keith anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> He's just not getting the cards. But if you can get that one more top lane, though, things could change pretty quickly. Oh, but the post is, is, is <laughs> vigilant. That sprinter post is right there. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it. Oh. He winning the hand. All right. Oh, a little bit early there, Marquise. Now, and, and that early shot. Punishes him, so now he's tied. So he could have cashed in another hand. He was Going tapping, to tap. tapping to get the spinner. All right, where's that? Where's that top right lane? It's not this time. Yeah. So besides those uh, those targets on the play field, the top lanes also change the player's hand. And unfortunately for Keith, he did not come all the way back there, and he did not. Pass Kaylee either. So. No. so right now going into the last ball of this game, it's either Kaylee or Robert. If Kaylee can pass Robert, he gets four points. Otherwise, Robert stays with four, and Jermaine and Keith are uh, last and third. That was vicious. That would that's be, all I have to say. That that's would be the vicious. house winning. Yeah, right that's there. the house wins. Yeah. That. That's vicious. Yes. That's come on. What do you even do about that? <laughs> Nothing. Like, Predict the future. You, yeah, you can't do yeah. it. I mean, you can't. You sh shake your head at I it. Mean, that's, yeah. that's all you can do. I mean, come on. No one has a crystal ball to defend against that. That's that's the definition of a house ball right there. Not only in how efficient it left, <laughs> I mean, because right. I mean, it didn't even like bounce around and play yeah. with it a little bit in the bumpers before well, it left. Just says you're it done. It says no, we're done now. Yeah. <laughs> no, now right now. Oh, okay. So that gives Robert Byers the big four points for game one. And the guess is now, what are we playing next? Now, has Robert been making choices up to this point I mean, with his seed, or has he been deferring so he or made, anything? He made two choices in semifinals. What I'm not sure is which ones he chose. I know he deferred his game three, which is why he played on blackjack okay. earlier. He picked Grand Prix and Alien Star. Okay, so then That's, we – Those are the games that he picked. So we know those two are going to – And he, he's not going to defer. There's there's no chance. Not now. There's not with no, chance to win it. No right chance here. of that. No. Right. Mm -hmm. right now, I would want to be in control – Especially after him, after winning game one, I want to be in control and like. It makes me I wonder if he goes Genesis. I think my I, I got a feeling broke. against this group. Oh, and they're back. That might be his play. That is, yeah. That Genesis is a, is a risky. Think, well, it's a risky you, play. If you play Johnny, you got to get yeah, twenty five million. You get twenty five. Yeah, <laughs> against <laughs> these people. Yeah, there's these well, players. Yeah. Genesis. Good call. Go. There you go. Travis with the call. Genesis. Can, can you guys Genesis. hear me? I think my camera's my thing is okay. 
I cannot hear you. We hear you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be the most expensive Genesis game of all time. That is better. That's, Thank you. That is exciting. I was unplugged, but I'm plugged back <laughs> now, <laughs> plugged now, in again. <laughs> I'll be honest with you two. I tried to play this a couple of times during qualifying, and ultimately, I mean, besides it destroying me, I absolutely, I didn't really know what I was doing on it. I know right. you're collecting, collecting the body, body parts. parts yes, is that, is that what we're doing right parts. now? We're right. collecting body parts, and there's one annoyance that I have. We're yep. collecting arms, four letters. Yep. Legs, four letters. Body, four letters. Brain, five letters. Could have gone for head, which right. is also a body part, but that's just me. I would have designed it differently. Y you're being way too logical. I'm right? being right. way too right. logical. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Well, you got to stop making sense right now. Well, I think part of the, the brain's payback is because there are two shots but they to all, get it. They, but, but they, they alternate. alternate. So that's yeah. the trade off. So you got to get one little extra letter for that. So, how you're playing this game, you want to spell the body parts, and after you've spelled the body part, on one of the ramps, you can lock your ball. and. When you do that, your bonus, uh, your uh, uh, playfield multiplier goes up. And in multiball, you kind of want to keep collecting other body parts. So you spell arms on the left ramp, legs on the right ramp, brain alternating on the loops, body you spell by completing the um, the upper lanes. Yeah, careful with that on the fly stuff, Robert. You know better than that. Sorry. When you drain, you don't get any body <laughs> okay. parts. All right, so hidden enemy, the feed from the bumpers, right? Yes. Anytime the ball comes down the feed from the bumper area, it is potential danger. Also, half ramps. Yeah, definitely half ramps. Although half the flippers ramps. on this are pretty strong. They are pretty strong. For I've played a bunch of Genesis. Genesis. I've played a bunch of these games. Right. <laughs> and this is a pretty good playing game. Like, you can make the ramps really nicely. But not always the case. if you do miss, though, it's Here. dangerous. It's, it's very super dangerous. dangerous. This game plays a lot quicker than probably what it even looks like on stream. It plays very fast. Yes. Now, one of the things about this game, which is sort of a deal with the devil, are those one, two, three targets in the middle. If you get one, two, three, you will get one letter per body part. But those targets are super dangerous. Like a level of danger like is the most dangerous <laughs> thing to hit, maybe, yep. on this game. <laughs> Another thing where you can spot a letter is that very target right next to the left ramp. But again, a pretty dangerous shot. It like gets it like right around those pop bumpers. So right now, right, he has that three right now. Jermaine has that three. He could take that three real quick and get a letter on each uh, body part, but he's not doing it <laughs> because he's at, that'd be asking for trouble. Nice. He almost got the three just on that save. I think we can see that a lot of these players like prefer to go for safety instead of trying to take those dangerous shots. I think that's what happens when you start playing for fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, right. <laughs> the safetyism starts to go up really <laughs> quickly. Right, you know what they say, like slow and steady wins the race, right? Especially on this game with as low scoring as it is in the beginning. But once the body parts start coming in, then the score is starting to increase. Once the multiplayer right. multiplier goes up. Do you oh. think he was trying to aim for that shot, or do you think he was trying to get an arm? Whoa. That was the post right in between. I'll be honest. I'm still trying to figure out where all the points are in this game <laughs> because I'm looking at the top scores, and I'm seeing 79 and 70 million right. by Jared August and Escher left. That's a lot of body parts. That's a lot. Did they take the glass off That's and just hit lot. switches? How did you get that? <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> they had so many body parts that they built a, they built a whole entire game, right. played that game, <laughs> and then brought those parts over to this okay. game. The, mu the multiplier goes up like crazy. It can go up to 12x, like wow. your, your play field multiplier. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah! Oh. Oh. And that's that scary miss that we were just yep. talking about right there. Yep. It comes screaming back. And those ramps, they look so inviting, too. Like they look big. Right. You're fully expecting big. to hit it, and then all of a sudden you're just reacting. I feel like they're very very shallow. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're coming, oh, they're changing. This is great. Now we can actually see how many. Uh, there they go. There are the body parts. All the letters. All right. Thank you, Carl. Super producer Carl D'Angelo with the save. Because I had no clue where Jermaine was with his letters. All right, so you'll slowly see them start to fill in. And once one of them is completed, multi-ball will be available. Right. Yeah, he's 
There see. we go. Now we've got letters. Well, we've got a letter right now. And this can be a very frustrating game where you've had almost all the letters of each word, but still you didn't really complete anything, and that's how you end your game. I've been trying to, like when I played this game, I've been trying to just go for one body part to start with. Just mm -hmm. try and get arms. Yep. And once I'm in there, try to go for one of those other ones. See, that, that sounds a lot better than what I was doing. I was just spraying and praying mm. at this game. So, so, you had, so you had half body parts everywhere. You had, you had nothing really put together. I was thinking to myself, half what am I arm, even doing here on this bench? Half <laughs> a leg, <laughs> half a brain, something, half, a, yep. half body, half everything. I Frankenstein this whole entire game, <laughs> right. for sure. Oh, that was uh, that would have been so wrong considering the way it did the other right? one drained. I was like, come on, not this, not that type of drain. Now let's go. That's a beautiful sequence, though, when it power in lanes like that, leaving the flipper yeah. up then hitting the ramp on the fly. Yeah. Oh, it did it again. There it is. See? Teasing. This is what I was telling you. Collecting arms. And then when you're in arms, you can start your multi-ball. There right. we go. That is the multi-ball start. It goes from 2 to 4x. The multiplier, playfield multiplier is at 4x right now. So he gets another ball in there, and while he's in his ball, he is going to spell more body parts. But first, get the balls under control. Well, that was a quick multi-ball. Now, does the 4x stay during this? Well, he's going to go back down to 2 now. Yeah. He's back down to 2. Well, they're, they're trying to but the next, the next multi-ball, because you have an extra body part. So it becomes 8x, possibly? Or? Does it go to 6? Well, 3 to 6. Yeah, it'll go from, you just take whatever you, your current multi is and just double it. That's okay, you, gotcha. That becomes your multi-multiplier. So why are we building all these body parts? See that big black space, that big black shape in the middle? There's a hidden little being in there that's being built that gets turned around when you get all the parts. And it shows it to you. It plays the music and Does it work on this one, though? I didn't see I, it. I didn't see I it either. Didn't see it. I, I, I did get all the body parts, but I didn't see it on this one. Well, what we did see is that his arms was not flashing anymore. So to get his next multi-ball, he needs to spell another body part. He cannot keep repeating the same shot. You need to go to another one to be able to get multi-ball again. Now once you get all of them, you need to shoot, shoot the very target to basically reset all the body parts again. Got a free brain part there. Ramp up. As the rubber's in the chopping wood part of our program. <laughs> Is he going to go for the leg? He's he did. He was, he was laid on the leg. He was getting punished for it. All right, he recovered. I think he's going to go for an arm. Come on, Robert. Laid on the arm. When I have a shot like that, I sometimes cannot decide what I want to do, and then I shoot the post in the middle. Right, Because right. I'm kind of aiming for both of them at the same time. And that's just the death of a pinball player, too. If you're stuck in between two different ideas right there, yeah. it's, it's yeah. definitely an internal battle for sure. It really is. And that ball knew exactly where to go to avoid Robert's <laughs> flippers. So Jermaine, we can finally see what Jermaine had been building up. He is close to body and he's close to legs. He needs one more shot in legs and he needs one complete of the targets at the top, uh, the in lanes at the top to uh, in lanes, top lanes, thank you, words. So I'm <laughs> assuming, if you guys already said this, I apologize, but while in multi-ball, since you're collecting other body parts as well, does that put your multiplier up? It keeps it just does. going. It Okay. Yeah. Make the numbers go bigger. That's what you want. He, he's going to get another chance. That was a nice save Great. over there. Yes. He's got the legs. And that is the shot that he needs to start multi-ball too, so. Sometimes it's the other one for some reason. <laughs> like, you'll hit, you'll hit the right ramp. Like, no, shoot the left one. Huh. Oh, what? No, wait. So he already has brain and he has legs right now, so his multiplier is at 6x at the moment. Oh, a little late on the arm. Oh. Very late on the oh, arm. Oh, no. Just needs to get control and transition back to single ball play. He still doesn't have it yet. 
And he's still getting punished okay. for this? Okay, all right. He's there back. There we go. Back shooting arms. Or is he? Oh, he's getting the body. That makes sense. He needed one more letter there. Oh, next body part awards extra ball. Oh, oh man. Which is points. Points is points. That's what he we need right now. He is trying to keep control, oh. and he's not getting it. Nice job there. There we go. You can see the flashing behind the ramp, which shows which ramp is lit for multiball. Jermaine's it's making my blood pressure go up yeah. right now. <laughs> this is insane to watch. <laughs> Multiplier, 8x right now. And he only needs to spell arms to be able to shoot the very target to relight all his other body parts again. Evil feet. No, oh. come on. That was a double evil feat. That was super evil. What do you even do right there? Like, there there's no chance of I saving that. I Yeah, because the gap's so wide. What yeah. do you do? Yeah. There you go. Right. Yeah. Who flipped the switch? Yeah. So you, just, you just walk away. <laughs> so Robert's low score strategy is working so far, I guess, right? <laughs> low, right. low score strategy. <laughs> Is he trying to just make things exciting for us by letting somebody else win? <laughs> I mean, if you're Kaylee, you're licking your chops right now. Mm -hmm. You know, he's close. close on his legs there, right? You, yep. get, you get two legs. Heel. That was a close one. Woo! Speed. All right, okay, slowing it, it down. down. Ooh. Okay. He's uh, collecting his brain. Oh boy. Nice job. All right, three down, one to go. Four legs. Two more brain letters. Two more. <laughs> one more leg. <laughs> oh, again, they just found a way to get, after all that chaos, it was like a setup. You know, we're setting it up, which way yeah. we're going to go, and right. then take it. Oh, man, I thought I was ready, but I was not. That shows how mean this game really is, because you rarely see center lane drains from players of this caliber, and yeah. it's happening happening consistently this game. Woo, even that was another one. This is dangerous. Okay, here we I go. Mean, think about it. Yeah. There you oh go. Oh, boy. On this game, there's no safe shots. You shoot the ramp, it shoots it into the pop bumpers. You shoot the other ramp, into the pop bumpers. Yep. You shoot the loop, top lanes, into the pop bumpers. There's no sh no safe shots on this game. There's no feeds to the in lanes. It's a pretty brutal game. <laughs> yeah, once you're describing it, I'm trying to I'm trying to search my brain if there's any other game around that plays this brutal. Mm -hmm. That's like that. And I can't think of any because it's like I said, there's nothing that really returns to the flippers. If you're coming out of the pops, it's dangerous. Right. Coming out of orbits, it's dangerous. Yes. If you're hitting ramps, it's dangerous. Hitting the middle three back is super dangerous. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like this is the perfect game for what's on the line right now, right? Players of this caliber might as well throw some something dangerous at them, right? <laughs> <For> Genesis <laughs> at them. <laughs> Who can summon that little bit of extra skill or maybe a dose of luck sugar just sprinkled in there, maybe somewhere to get that $15,000. As, as we should remind, this is for $15,000, okay? This is game two of three. And with Robert's low score there, that's gonna bring Robert back down to earth with yep. everybody for game three. Yeah, Robert's guaranteed uh, last right yeah, now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. So this has uh, changed the whole match now. It sure does. Jermaine is in a good position right now. First one to go past a million. Collecting his arms. Oh, boy. He, all right, he, hit, he got away with hitting a center target. Oh, he knew he missed it, and he wanted to recover. All right, but that's still that's still a million and 1.1 for Jermaine. So that's it. That is a bit of work for Kaylee to come back from, and it's definitely for Keith. But I mean, Keith has some work to do, but he also has all his body parts ready to collect. He hasn't collected anything, so he can just get into multiple if the feats are nice. All right, one more. Arms. One more arms. Come on. Sweet. Good shot. There we go. Getting into multiball. 2x, 4x multiplier. All 
right, doing some work here. Let's, let's continue chopping that wood. Now he's just got two axes to, to work with. Let's try and get control of those balls. Oh, right, he's, and he uh, got the one, two, three. He's using his extra ball to try and get more of those letters down by doing the one, two, three. Because you might as well when you have two balls to play with. Take some risk. And quickly, he's up to 500 and change already. So he's put some points on the board already now. Yeah, that was, yeah. There is no, there, there is no answer there. <laughs> <laughs> As Keaton's trying to answer that question. <laughs> like. All right, he still needs uh, two, two legs, three brain. Do you think he's gonna shoot the loop to try and get those body parts, the, the the top body, the the top lanes? The body. Oh right, go right, right, right for arms. Just to what get up you? there. He's already done arms. Yeah. Oh. All right, okay. now here comes the leg shot. And you think these shots are so wide open? Yeah. Well, plus, there's so much on the line right now, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like we talked about a second ago. Oh, did it there you trickle go. over? In there. <laughs> Woo! Careful here. All right. One more leg. All right. There we go. As it goes up to 6x on the multi multiplier. Catch those balls. There you go. He's getting close Get to getting one of the that. brain letters. Getting close. He says, see the, the flashing light down below there says next part awards extra ball. That's his points. Do you know that how many big points? points. 500,000. Pip, 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 pip. Mm -hmm. Five hits. Wow. Okay. He needs Two more shots for Brain to relight his multi-ball again. Oh, oh, that's that post you're talking about. Woo, all right. Did he pass Jermaine? He did, he did pass Jermaine. He did. All right, Kaylee, the world is yours. One shot for legs. Great catch, good pass, and great shot. Look, Look at, at that. that. Look at that. And one more shot for Brain as well. So he can get into multiball, make that one shot, and get his multiplayer up while he's in multiball. Oh, got a Brain? Yes, there's, there's yes, the brain. yes. Next part for extra ball. Oh, it is oh. hanging out there, but he has one, two, 81. And what does Keith have, one, two, 80 something? But with the amount of body parts that Kaylee has, that bonus will give it to him. So, but he just wants to see it on the board. Oh, now yeah. he sees now it. Now he's got it. Okay. So now he's now he's okay. This makes 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 it very interesting. Robert four points, Kaylee at six, Jermaine at one, and Keith at three, if I'm correct, right? Yes, that would be correct. So Jermaine cannot win anymore with one, but all the other guys still have a chance. Oh yeah, yeah, it's- At the 15,000. It's just, I'm trying to fathom playing a pinball game with this much money on the line. I know we keep coming back to it, but it's 15,000 It's important, yeah, it's dollars. important. It makes each flip important. Yeah. I mean, and if yeah. you can filter that out of your mind, then it's yeah. gonna help you win, really. Just, right. I mean, I mean this right. is even more than Pinburg. Yeah, I, right? I believe that. Yeah, it's the same. It, well, the fifteen thousand yeah. dollars is the same, but but for the amount of people, the amount that are, of people that are it's in, not it, a it's more. That in this. It's there was 80. eighty. Right, eighty. Yes. Yeah, and qualifying was so difficult for yeah. this. By far, the most eighty difficult people. Qualifying. Only yep. eight people made it to the finals. The scores that were put up were crazy. Trying to put a card up that came even close to the top half was difficult trying to qualify oh yeah or be the top qualifier i think right now we actually have the three top qualifiers in the group right because yep. robert is number one kaylee number two keith number three 
it's kind of crazy uh, to think about. Yeah. It. Well, uh, plus too, you got multiple world world champions. Yes. And there's multiple world champions in the group right now. It's just, yeah. I just it, this caps off an excellent weekend. I know. Yeah. This is like the sure after does. party. This is yeah. the after show. <laughs> right? Which, by the way, we're giving away fifteen thousand dollars in the after party. Why not? Why not? Why not? Let's <laughs> do that. Somebody will make it rain, right? right. Why, yeah. Might as well. So what are we going to go to next? Now, where's Robert Byers going to drive this bus to? Is he going to get crazy? And go Walking Dead and drive it off a cliff? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's just go. Let's go to Walking Why not? Dead. What is and open for him? I think he chose all the older games. I mean, if he does get away, I mean. Are Keith, we going to see some Keith Torpedo gonna have Alley? Keith threw Grillion on it, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, Walking oh. Dead might be your only choice. With how steep that is and how I mean, chaotic it is. He's, yeah. look, he's looking over and getting advice. You guys are forgetting Torpedo Alley. Yeah, no. Keith well, isn't either. Well, <laughs> Keith isn't forgetting Torpedo Alley either. So. Robert was very upfront. He had no idea what was going on on Torpedo Alley. Okay. So probably not going to be his If thing. he picks us, I'd be shocked. Mm -hmm. We'll have to check his mask for <laughs> foreign substances in that case. Decisions, decisions. What we are looking, what we are looking at is C Super Producer Carl D'Angelo with the rig, the streaming rig, being prepared for the decision, for the decision of what's going to be the final game, and it's going there past the Peter Alley, it's going past Getaway, oh, it's, it's oh, going to it's Getaway. getaway. Woo. That is an exciting pick. I like it. What have been the scores on Getaway the whole weekend? Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Well, I think well, Keith she? already has a 400 yeah. after two balls in the previous round. Right. Like I mm -hmm. saw just casually looking around. So <laughs> Let's check. High stake game scores. Getaway. Arvid, 711 million. Keith put up in qualifying 369. Let's see, Kaylee George, 258. Let's see, Robert is in there. Jermaine, 241. This is a brave pick by Mr. It Byers. Is, yeah, it's, it's going right to Keith's this, wheelhouse. <laughs> this is a very brave pick. I'm definitely, I'm not going to second guess it because no. they're there. I mean, yeah, we're, we're here. We hear the music say, going. Here we go. Yeah. This is like, Robert Byers, John Cena moment. All right. That's what this is <laughs> right <laughs> now. <laughs> it's like, let's do it. All right. I love the music already. This is. Here it is. Welcome to Getaway. Oh, wait. It looks like he may have deferred. It's. Oh, oh you know yeah. what? Or no, no, I know what happens. Or Jermaine. Jermaine just got first. out of the way, maybe. Jermaine is like, I'm not going to win this anyway. I'm going to pick first. Let you guys battle it out after me. Well, here we go. The last game of the weekend of a tremendous weekend put on by Carl and IE Pinball and everybody. So. Also, big thanks to Jim Belsito. Yes, everybody else. For and sure. everybody else that helped. Yes, everybody. All the volunteers, everybody. Right, I like the strategy now. of letting balls drain to get as much RPMs as you can get. You can get up to three. You can get three of those to work on ball one. If you're brave enough. It, I it, am not. It works. <laughs> it works. On ball one, you get three. On ball two, you get two. And on ball two, you, on ball three, mm -hmm. you get two. As long as you have no balls left, you yeah, can so, get them. So there's two things that people are going to do on this game. One is getting their RPM, RPMs up, to shift gear, get into fifth gear, and get your red light mania. And for those who are new to this game, there is a gear shifting device on the on the player's right, near yes. the, right, that you have to move yourself. But you can do it with your, you can do it with your knee. You can knee it, but you however you it. do it, you got to do it. Yes. Otherwise, the game will keep griping at you to shift gears <laughs> until you do it. And you cannot build to the next gears. You kind of suck if you don't do it. Right. So how do we advance gears? We have orbits. We have the the, the loop. Orbits loop. That's why people are letting their ball drains and using that ball save to get some extra loops in there. Another thing in this game is multi-ball. You get the green, collect all the green lights first for the first block, collect all the 
I think I, they say yellow here in the Netherlands. We say orange. Collect the orange lights, <laughs> and then collect the red lights to run the red lights to start your multi ball. If you shoot the ramp, it will spot a light for you. So you don't always have to make those dangerous shots don't there. Move. Don't move. Hey, is he gonna get a third one? Oh, he was going for it. He was going for a third one. I love how quickly they're shifting gears, like you're not even noticing it that right. they're doing it. It's like they played this game a time or two, right? I know, right? All weekend long. That's what makes this so fun to watch, though. E each competitor, they know exactly what they want to do, when they want to do it. And this is a game that is controllable, though. So we're going to see some some plans take action right now. Yes. No yeah. Notice what Keith is not doing, what Keith is not using, that upper flipper. Is that adds some chaos to it. He knows he can catch the ball if he loops it all the way around and catch it on the right flipper. Yeah. It's much less dangerous. That's what I said in Genesis. They're going for the safer shots. Right, so right now he's uh, already working on to gear four. He has his video mode lit. Those freeways are for loops. Oh, here comes video mode. Shift up. Let's run away. Don't run into cars. And don't pull over. Yeah, they don't want to do that. That number up there is his points. There we go, 20 million on the board. Now he is trying to shoot that, that upper ramp. It just comes like those loops. It comes way too quick to the upper flipper. I understand why they're not using it then. All right, very close to the next gear. You can tell by the tachometer, that the huge tachometer in the middle of the screen. Once it gets to red, then that will advance to the next gear and you have to shift it. But gear four will be the supercharger mode where every shot will be five million and the supercharger will be five million plus. But I wonder if he'll even play it. He might not. Now we find out. Will he will he go for it? Or will he he will go for it? Okay. Is he gonna bounce over? Ten million! There you go. Oh, oh it like barely makes it to the other side. Oh, wow. fifteen million on a backhand. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Really nice ball for Keith Elwin, getting all the way to fourth gear, pretty close to Redline Mania. And with that red line, you can see there, he's going to wake up in fifth gear when he shifts. So he's going to mm -hmm. restart on the red line Mania gear. That was such a high level decision right there, just to take that backhand on the fly yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. And the shot was so clean, like yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Like, okay, I got it. He was not out of control at all in that spot. That, that's what's crazy about that. So if you're Kaylee right now and you're coming up, mm -hmm. you just saw that, you know where Keith is at in the game. What are you trying to do right now? You're playing your own game. You don't get distracted by, by what other players are doing. You're gonna play, play your own plan. Because there's no other way you're gonna play this game now. It's not like all of a sudden you're gonna do something else. Right. And that's what all of these players are really good at. They just play their own game. They know what they're doing. Now, what happens if Adam Lefkoff back there is convincing him to do something other than that? Then Adam Lefkoff is mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we, also... Uh, we, need, we need to know what advice Adam's giving Kaylee <laughs> right now. <laughs> Maybe they're talking about what they're going to have for dinner tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, last minute preparations, and uh, we're off and running. Didn't quite nudge it enough to get it off the wall, so this will cost him one save. He can go for the second one, and he will get the second one, and that's all. Careful. Get control of the ball. Again, he, he saw that was in trouble because it was going off the top of the slingshot. Anytime you get mm -hmm. to the top of the slingshot, you are in trouble. And, and you have to nudge it. You have to do something. Get it away from that out lane. Oh, that kickback did not kick it up into the burn rubber saucer. That's sort of your mystery award, the burn rubber. But there is, since this is tournament mode, there is a predetermined order in the mystery awards. Ooh. Oh. oh. 
That's exactly what you were talking about. It gets to that right out lane. It's just it's just dangerous. I like the decision right there, though, to, to loop pass in that yeah. situation. Yeah. So Jermaine, Kaylee, and Robert are basically in the same position right now. They got around 10 million. Keith is the only one that has really been able to put something up with his uh, with his first ball. All right, so Jermaine wakes up one shot away from completing the third gear. And that will light his video mode. Uh-oh, that kick, he's gonna lose the kickback and also the possibility of a save. To relight the kickback, you gotta complete the one, two, three on the side. Either one will do it, but you have to complete that that side before time runs out. He does he does it. Nice. Just an extra ball save. Alright, there's his third gear. Video mode is lit. Nice loop pass. Oh, oh. and that uh, he nudged it off, but then it didn't it, it's I don't know what surface it didn't find on I, that one that it just went clean through. It did not look like he was expecting that. Right. No. What sound he made? <laughs> One right, save. Robert's just giving it. Like, oh, that a might have been a little show. Yeah. Yep. Not getting that. That's last not gonna get that back. And, nope. That is the deal with the devil that you take when you take that second save. That you have sure no does. protection yeah. at all. Now, meanwhile, Keith is gonna have fifth gear when he starts. Just needs to get that to Commodore all the way to the red. And we could be talking about hundreds of millions here. The higher the gears, the more RPMs you need to be able to finish them. All right, he was not punished for that slight miscue there. There, now he was. There was the punishment. Two dangers for Keith. Gonna let it settle for a second. Got to be careful with this nudging now with two strikes. Woo, that came off strange as well. So close. That's it. Now he needs to shoot the supercharger ramp to start Red Line Mania. Bounce over, and we're good. here we go. Cash and prizes, here we go. Jackpot's gonna start lit for 25 million and then he can build up to the super for 100 million. And here we go. You get the jackpot via the left orbit or the mini loop. First, get control of the ball. All right, he still has all three. Where's this one gonna land? All right, lands out. Airplane. That's fine. Whoa, oh, okay. That was a great in lane. Reminder, he's still, he has two strikes, so he can't do a whole lot of uh, liberal nudging here. He's got to be a little bit more conservative on his moves. Now he's going to shoot that loop right there. There we go. Jackpot. And now you want to shoot it in the supercharger start lighting your super jackpot. There's these 20, that, there's yeah. the 20, because each one is 10, and that's gonna count down all 20 of these. And now he's used the same shot he got for the jackpot for the super. Wow. I have never seen that move ever. Yeah, that was a move I can't even describe what it was, but he just got the super. <laughs> the ball drain. Why not? The ball drain, but he just got the super. There's the 100 million. I love this super jackpot sound. All right, so back to gear one and to start the story all over again. In his next ball, not in this one. What what do we even call that move? We already know what an L one is. Like, wh what was that? I don't even remember what it even was. It was like I wasn't like, even here when I saw it. Yeah. I don't even know, know like, what it is. In like gymnastics, they just 
gives, if somebody invents a new move, they yeah. just add number two or yeah. three behind oh, wow. it, so this is the L and two. <laughs> Don't move. Oh, will he get this save? No, okay. Not taking the risk. Ooh, oh, it almost brought it back. Tantalizingly close to saving that. All right, so ball three, even with Keith taking a, a marginal or a pretty good lead right now, there's still so much on the line Absolutely. Yeah. for everybody. Everybody's just kind of jam-packed right now, right around second place, but this game could shift dramatically. Yeah. Not exactly, because Kaylee, so. all Kaylee has to do is, get, is if he can get second, yeah. that if gives Nobody's eight. out of it. Nobody's out of it. Yeah. If Keith wins so. and Kaylee manages to get one point, they've got a tie break in first. Which would be very exciting. More pinball. Who doesn't want more pinball? But Robert can also go crazy and just do what he just did. Don't move. Don't move. All right, there's the two saves. Oh, boy. Okay. He's looping. Five million a shot. Will he play it? No, nope, we're going to have a bit of a break here. <laughs> we count this down. Right? Maybe. It's like, yeah, you want to go for the left ramp? That's what we just said. Think should I should go for the left <laughs> ramp? We just asked the question. There we go. That's where you're having that internal dialogue with yourself. You're seeing all those flashing lights. You're thinking, I better not. So he's going back into shooting loops. Get to that red line mania. Loop pass. All right, still working on this is red line mania gear, so if he can complete this. Oh, all right, fine. Oh, one more shot. Oh, meanwhile, we have a bit of an intermission for video mode. <laughs> Are you guys keeping it on the right or keeping it on the left when it comes to the video mode? I'm doing what he's doing. I'm going back and forth because I don't know how to keep it on one line because I don't want to see how people do that because they do, and I don't know where that is. So I, I just don't want to crash into a car. I just stay on the right and hit the first car. That's <laughs> what happens to me all the time. So. <laughs> At least you're consistent, you know? <laughs> All right, one supercharger shot if the game gives him control of the ball and in lane is yes. And but he missed the shot. Great recovery, another in lane, another shot. No. Will he get a third chance at it? Yes. There it is. All right. <laughs> yeah. Once again, the jackpot starts lit. Get the left orbit or the mini loop. And there's the jackpot. Now he needs 20 supercharger loops to like the super for 100. He's trying to start one already. All right, good position here. Here we go. Oh, a little early on that. Oh. Oh, I didn't make it. This is another one of those shots. It seems so easy to hit, so big. Right, there's 10 of them down. Uh, ah. There will be no super for Jermaine. At least not yet. But now he's working on a new set of gears. Here's some supercharger loops. He must have ten, all ten million of this oh, now. Yeah. You start with three, right? Yeah, three is the minimum. Three yeah. is the minimum. Yeah. Oh, nice save. Whew. Oh yeah. yeah, as yeah. soon as it didn't go clean in the in lane, <laughs> in, in trouble. Good ball of Jermaine. Didn't manage to catch Keith, but really good last ball. 
making sure that the other guys have something to do. Alright, one. Oh, he will get this one too. That's all you're gonna get. Don't do it. Goodbye. Yeah. Did not give him a real chance there after he took his two saves. So Kaylee needs, if if, uh, if this hold, if Keith can hold this seven, and Kaylee can find second, he wins. So if he can, <laughs> he can find second place. Looks like Jermaine's 142 is can, might become really important after this. on his gears, here we go. All right, all right, you have to get a two. Woo! Yeah, that was perfect. Perfect parabola down the middle. Okay. All right, so Kaylee needs 142 plus, and he wins. He needs yeah, but he needs to get 19 to get, to get a tie. <laughs> to get the tiebreaker. Tie yep. So, I mean, completing the gear is not going to not going to give him points for that. I mean, he'll get he'll get points not for this loop, but he'll get points for a second loop if he were to take it. There we go. If this is all 10, not quite all 10, but that is that enough for third? Very smart move, not trying to get those RPMs, but just making sure he passes Robert to at least force a tie, and now he can try and maybe win this game. Okay, apparently that's where you're supposed to put it. Oh, car decided to come somehow <laughs> on, on the center. <laughs> Surprising. So you shouldn't all go all the way to the right, right because that's, yeah. where, the, that's that, where the car is. That's how you do it right there. <laughs> it makes so much more sense. Yeah. Now. Do what Kaylee does. It's easy, right? Totally. Hey, he just locked nice his first car. ball. About to start the supercharger. Okay, I got control of the ball. Shoot the loop. We'll see whether or not Kaylee plays a supercharger round. Oh, he, he will he not be. He doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> we have bonus pinball. Yes, everyone. <laughs> bonus pinball again. It looks like we have bonus pinball. All right, up against the count, now buddy. for the tiebreaker. Right. That means Kaylee gets picked. Kaylee does get right? picked. He is locked out of a few things, though. He already picked. Yeah. He picks Johnny Grand Prix and Getaway in his round. And this, and during the finals, they already played Blackjack and Genesis, which only leaves Torpedo Alley and Walking Dead over for him to pick. If, oh, Alien Star. You can pick Alien Star. Okay. Too. So Alien Star is the wild card picker, right? I mean, yeah. Torpedo, Tor Torpedo, Torpedo Alley is Keith's domain, and then, I mean, basically, um, Walking Dead is neither of them. <laughs> and Walking, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Walking Dead is evil. Walking Dead is double evil, <laughs> and then, and um, Alien Star is sneaky. So I mean, it, it might give you four million, and it might give you fifty thousand. Or you defer, you let Keith pick, but then you're probably going Torpedo, Torpedo Alley. Alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Torpedo Alley. Torpedo Alley. I mean, Alien Star is the most controllable game. And if Kaylee wants something to control, that could be it. Could be Alien Star. Or we might have a foot race for fifteen thousand. Right, let's That'd just go. Oh, yeah, we can just do it right let's, there. Just right. run around, <laughs> run around the facility three times. <laughs> or faster, they can do just do like rock paper scissor for fifteen thousand yeah. dollars. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Kaylee's a gambling man. He'll want to just do winner takes all. Oh, first, he would. First and second place together. Why not? He likes to uh, ask that of his like, like the other people in the finals if right. they just want to put all the money in a right. pot and then just like let the number one take it. <laughs> He's like, that's real high stakes. Right. 
I think they're thinking about it, they're talking about it. All right, decisions are being made right that's, now. That's why we're all looking away. We're like okay, trying that's where, to. That's the direction we're looking in. The, there's all, the competitors are all over there in a huddle <laughs> in front of Torpedo Alley. It's not like us looking there actually makes us figure out what's going on right now. But I'm just watching for the rig to move anywhere. Somehow my wife thinks we're looking at her. Oh, like, yeah, no, of, no, of course. No, no, no we're no. looking at the competitors. We're, we're looking at the pinball, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so the rig is Here. moving. The rig is moving backwards. <laughs> this is exciting. Car Carl stopped. Right. Oh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. He stopped again. Go? Oh, he's going, going back. Alien star. Alien star. Alien star. I heard some hooting in, in, in from the public. Be, Alien star. Likes that. This is yeah. going to be an expensive, hooting. an expensive game of Alien star. So now we know alien stars are going to be worth about eight to ten grand right. mm -hmm. after this stream, and it's what a twenty-four thousand dollar game of really, alien star. Right? Or what what yeah, all is something on the line? like that? Fifteen, 15 and what? eight, right? Or is Fifteen, 15 and, eight. and eight. So it's twenty-three thousand dollars. Game of alien star. It's be so who will get that five X? Or actually, it's a seven thousand dollar game of alien star. They yeah. both already have the eight thousand. It's one of them is going to get more. True. There you go. Welcome to Alien Star, everyone. You can just see on the screen, look at those scores right there that tells the story. 2.2 million and 72,050. <laughs> that was a real match that happened. I love the look of this game, by the way. Just art. Looks pretty. Looks great. But what are we going to shoot for? All right, so we have uh, those alien targets on the, on the far right there. We have to spell alien mm -hmm. to light the multi-ball scoring multiplier on the left there. And it's going to start at 2x because it doesn't like you. You're going to have to risk it to get the 5x by shooting the spinner on the upper left. Mm. It may stop at 5x or it may not. Mm. It's what, what it feels like, maybe. The, the spinner can also what? be lit for a lot of points, right? I was going to get to that after, ah. after talking about the spinner because the spinner is where the big cash in comes in. Because if you can 5x and you can alley pass the right in lane, the right in lane lights the spinner. 10,000 wind flashing at 5x at a lot of spinners. How many? Just a lot. I mean, one good spinner could give you many hundreds of thousands and possibly a million. Do you think we're going to see a lot of shatsing? I think we're going to see uh, quite a bit of in-lane passing here, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but, one, I mean, once they tell the story of the alien targets first, and if they get far enough, if they can, if they can get some star letters at the top, you need to have a star letter lit in order to collect the prize underneath it. Right, the prize will light underneath it if you complete the alien target. So it's a multiple step process. So if you can get that, you can get far enough where you start collecting bonus, collecting extra balls over and over, which is 250,000. So you hear the pat, 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 right? And you'll get, get multiples of those if it goes up and down that lane. You can get multiple 250s. And then you can hold bonus and get your bonus X up there too. But you have to qualify them first. Well, while we're waiting for them to start, I'm going to say hi to my family in the Netherlands who are actually watching. Hooray, Netherlands! <laughs> Go Welcome Holland! Welcome to Alien Star, <laughs> Netherlands! <laughs> right, so as we, as we uh, visually watch the value of Alien Star increase as we speak... Oh, I'm going to go look at the scores they had during qualifying. Alien Star. Let me see. Highest score, 5.8 million. Steven, I see that you had a great score of 4.7 million on this game. Good job. Thank you. That was like the number three score. And then let's see. Keith Elwin put up 2.4 million on this game. And Kayla George, 1.9 million. Here we go. We got, we got to work on Alien first. Just shoot those spinners when they're lit, right? Yeah, when the spinner's lit, you shoot it, whatever. Yeah, that, that interrupts any plan. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. nice in lane pass. Again, he's, he's trying to go for the safest play as he can get, so he's just going straight for spinners now, assuming that Keith may not do anything. 
The game has other plans. If you choose to stray from the path that the game wants to, to give you, it will bite you. It oh, is. you don't want to shoot alien targets? Okay, take a death. It, it, this game, it's, it's deceptive because sometimes you feel like you're completely in control, and then out of nowhere, you're out of control. Ow. Yep, immediately. And even if you do what the game wants you to do, shoot those alien targets, it will still let you drain. Absolutely, it finds a way because the it bumpers are the bumpers are in charge, and uh, anything the bumpers don't handle, the slingshots can handle. And the bumpers are really trying to mess with okay. Keith now already. Keep going for those alien targets. Woo! Shoot the spinner. That was a really nice, nice. shot over there. Still needs the L and the E to complete Alien, and then we can talk about that score multiplier, which right now is at 5x. That's why he's tapping it over. He doesn't want to move that 5x, because if it lights at 5x, uh-oh, how's that going to come out? Whoa, that was dangerous. Nice nice little taps over there. Okay, E and Alien. There it is. 5x lit. Nope, not yet. Didn't quite get it. Don't you hate it when you like, are pretty sure that you hit the target, and then... Somehow you hit like the one next to it. There it is. Right. Because it makes the sound like <laughs> it yep. hit it. You yep. know, like, mm -hmm. no, you didn't. Oh, oh, he almost took the death, but he's fine. If he can get that 5x now, and the nope. game says no, 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 no. But he will wake up with that flashing, but it would be back at 2x because the game the, the game doesn't like you. Reminder of that. So you would have to spin the spinner to get it up to 5x again if he wants. Which is going to depend on the output of Kaylee right here. See. Get it to the other side. Whew. Kaylee changing strategies. Not chancing in lanes, but trying to get that multi ball going. And all right, now that's going to change the things to Keith. Now I wonder if Kate, if Keith will go for El Chipo and get the two X just to have two balls on the play field. Yeah, and score potential. Put pressure on, right? Oh, the game has wow. remembered. The game is also making decisions. We, right? we, we will was, never know what was, Keith was going to try and wow. do. Wow. The game wow. decided, no, you pay attention to me now. I was like, okay, I'm sorry, Alien Star. We're paying attention to you. Wow. Do you think Alien Star will walk away with the 15,000? It could be. Yeah, it might, this, yeah. This game has a way to be an equalizer, and we've just seen it happen just within about 20 seconds. Yep. So it's, I mean, huge ball coming up. With, again, Keith does have the, the, the capture wind flashing lit when he awakens back up. So that's part of this. Just trying to find some points anywhere. What a save. That was a beautiful save. Needs the end. Okay. Needs the end. A little late. Oh, a little too late. This is such a tough target to hit, too. It sure is. Okay. <sighs> okay, here we Try go. It again. Need it, need it, want it. Got it. Oh, just get in there. Get into the saucer. Oh, it almost went in there a few times. And no. Find it, find it. There it is. Okay. Here's the shot he needs. Oh no, he no, was no, early no. on it. Nice catch. He's got there it. There we go. Huge. All right, so we've got 3x play field. And that right in lane ready to start cashing with the spinner. Oh boy. Oh, that's oh. still yes, yes, there it is. Yes, more, more, wow. more, more, more. Look huge, at huge. that. Two shots, and he's up to 1.1 million. So this makes it. Oh, here comes an extra ball. That looked like 100,000 and not 250. I think I saw 520s there. I'm going to have to look and see. Oh, in lane. In lane. In lane. Yes. Big, wow. big, 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 big. More still lit. Wow. Oh yeah, he still got it. That's still counting. That was 30s. Yeah. That nice job by Kaylee. That was a great multi ball. That was huge. Now trying to get back into multi ball, or just trying to get spinners. Multi ball. Yeah, look, yeah, looks like he's going back to multi ball. Yeah, he really wants to put points on the board here because Keith's gonna wake up with the capture flashing, but now Keith needs to go for the 5x real. Yeah. Because 2x is not gonna. Increase the scoring fast enough for really for him to get there, okay. unless he lasts a long time. 
Okay, it's one more letter. One more. Oh, got it! There got we it! Go. Yeah. How about another three X for Kaylee? Let's do it. Nice little pass there. Yeah. Get it in there. Look at that. Collect bonus too. All right, just a little bit, a little bit extra. Nice nudge to get it out. Oh, just wasn't meant to be for that one, but okay. Let's start it again. Start the story again. Spell alien. That's still okay. Got. Oh, he didn't get the end. That looks. That looks solid. Guess not. Okay. Alien nice, said no. Nice safe over there. Keeping that ball in play. Whoa. He's trying to alley pass the <laughs> uh, collect bonus. A little bit extra there. Needs the L and the N to light multi ball once again. He got the, the end. end. Oh, but great ball. Great pressure ball by Kaylee. It's going to force a 5x from Keith here. So he's not going to just be able to shoot this and, and increase his going yeah. with that. No, he needs the 5. Oh, he needed that spinner to change it from 2 to anything else. And he wants that 5. Where is it going to land? Where are we? Where are we? Where? Oh, oh, no. Two it's two X. One too many. One too many spins. There it is. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, if he does the play once, it is over. If he if he shoots the lit spinner, alley pass, lit spinner, that will give that might give it to him right there. If the oh, it did not touch it. It's not enough. Not enough. It needs to get up to that in lane. Oh man, if that in lane was lit, it would oh, be and over. Oh, he drains. He's out of multi ball. He needs to do it all over yeah. again. Wow. That was an excellent job, though, to stay under control, at least with yeah. one ball while that other ball was draining. Mm -hmm. Most players right there would have drained out of both balls. Just out of pure stress? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Power in lane. 5X still lit. Okay. That has not changed. And then we're back. <laughs> we're back into 5X. Trying to find a lit spinner, but oh, no. He drains right away. The game says no. We're not even going to start multi ball. I'm like, yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm going to use that late shot on the E and N. He got the N. Oh, where is this going? Oh, this is going into bad places. Oh, boy. Oh, bad neighborhoods all around. Now okay. he's down to 3x here. Oh, and that's ah. it. Congratulations to Kaylee George. He just took home $15,000. What a way to end it. That stressed wow. me out. That was, oh, that was oh stressful. Oh hard, uh, he, heart pounding. Whew, he had yeah. multiple chances at the 5x again. Just <laughs> one. If that sprinter was lit, the ball was heading near that, that uh, in it lane. It almost kissed it. It almost it was is. there. <laughs> and if that was lit, Keith wins it. But yep. the difference of a uh, game of millimeters this game of pinball can be. So we just <laughs> sure saw is. it. Yes. It was Definitely. between 15,000 and 8,000. So congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, Kaylee George. You just took, to, took home that big prize. And thank oh, you all for joining us. I can I mean, breathe. I can know, breathe we're about again. to go to the presentation. <laughs> That's what they're say, running yeah. over. <laughs> and running over. We got some prizes and trophies to give out. Let's uh, give it to Jeff Ciolis. Yeah. Jeff is Jeff uh, setting up right now. We got uh, Keith and Kelly. They're collecting all the collecting winners. Collecting monies. All right, we're looking over to Jeff now. We're about to send it over. Once again, thank you all for joining us. We appreciate those of you who are seeing this for the first time. Again, and, please uh, support IE Pinball. And see you here next year in person. Right. Yeah, hopefully, right? Right. Of course. And throwing it to <laughs> Jeff. High, high stakes. That was something to see. Big, big money here. 
and uh, a great way to end in disc. It's kind of sad that it's all over. We're all exhausted. We could do another day, five days next year. We're good. This has been fantastic. Let's meet the final four. Jermaine with a wonderful performance and gave us some excitement there on Getaway with the Multiball. Congratulations. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, a, a great group too, but uh, you're never out of it. Some great shimmy saves. I love what you do on Blackjack and other games. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I try my best, but uh, you know, it's just a tough group, top four. I'm happy to just make it here. It was a great weekend. Thank you for all the hard work, the organization. It was great fun. Hey, we want to see you in action, maybe in the Northwest. When, we, when, when should we do that? Uh, we have two big events coming up. In June, we have the Northwest Pinball and Arcade Show. And in September, we have the Northwest Championships as well. So you're all welcome. All right. Well, best of luck to those wonderful events. And congratulations on fourth place and a whole lot of money. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, thank Jermaine. You. All right. Robert Byers is here from Austin, Texas, and yeah. Top Row Pinball. Congratulations, third place, my friend. Thank you, I appreciate it, Jeff. Pretty exciting, I mean, you're, I heard it took you basically till the last hour to get into this tough tournament. Yeah, I've been playing at like a B minus level all weekend, and it caught fire right at the end, last ticket. Last ticket? Last ticket. What time was that? Because we cut off uh, playing about, it around about five. About two o'clock, about okay. two o'clock. Man, it's the last ticket to, uh, get that top seed, which really helped in that first round to pick games. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, a little bit of stress comes off when you get the four, and then you got the eight. Okay, yep. now we can have some fun. Yep. And now you got some money to go with it. Absolutely. All right, buddy. Thanks, Jeff. All the best. Appreciate it. Okay. You've seen him a few times this weekend. That's what you do when you're one of the greatest of all time. Final four. Second place. Let's bring on Keith Elwin here. Thank you. There you go, sir. Uh, great game to get here. Uh, you know, I know it was difficult, but uh, getaway exciting. Uh, Kaylee is a champ. It, flip a coin. I mean, you guys probably are back and forth all the time you play. That was exciting. Now I know how Josh Sharp feels. It's awful. <laughs> oh, back to back. Oh, don't ever say that. You're much better. <laughs> anyway, uh, successful, successful weekend overall. You've been here a few times. You were the Classics 2 champ, runner up to the World Championship. I know you love Indus. What does it mean to you? Uh, well, this is my home state, so it's always great to see something this huge in my home state. So it's, yeah. this is awesome. I know how much admiration you have for Jim and Carl and Bob and the whole staff. And uh, known those guys forever. Yeah, and and you know what? You you don't play as much, but this is always on your calendar, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, and it's great for us watching too. Congrats on second place. Thanks. Thank you. All right, Keith. Let's bring on your champion, your high stakes champion. Does anybody have fifteen thousand dollars? Oh, this guy does. Kaylee George. Congrats. Hey, how's it going? Good, buddy. The mask comes off when you're the yes. when you're the champ. Look at that. All right. I, I, awesome. Apparently, there's cash to go along with that. Too. Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah, I, I guess that's the high stakes that. part. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> hey, that's. Uh, were you sweating a little bit when you saw what uh, Mr. Elwin did there on, on Getaway? No, I mean, Elwin's really good. So it wasn't this, surprising. This just <laughs> it wasn't surprising that that he put up a good score yeah. I mean, on any of these games. Yeah. Can you tell people, there, we have people watching for the first time, we know there's older games, there's uh, kind of the uh, solid state games and a lot of the newer games. You've been playing pinball for a long time. Yeah. There's excitement in all eras, aren't there? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, some of the older games may look more chaotic, but it's all about the nuance and making the best of the opportunities you get with each flip. People sometimes think, oh, there must be more luck in older games, and that's not the case. Absolutely not. I mean, look at Elwin, I mean, he's one of the best players, the best player of all time. And what was he picking in our modern bank? A lot of the older games, yeah. you know, and, and he can play them amazingly. Yeah, so I mean, you show the accuracy, the flipper skills, it's all there. And you are $15,000 richer. Congrats, Kay Kaylee, that's great. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, it sucks that it's over, isn't it? You, you could play yeah, again. let's play you? some more. Let's play some more. more Unfortunately, we'll have to do it next year. And I hope you can join us on behalf of Bob Matthews, Jay Collins, Jim Belsito, Carl D'Angelo, we have 100 volunteer staff. Matt is right behind the camera there, so I thank you. Emoto, Gene X Wong, our wonderful people on the commentary booth. You gotta come here. Riverside next year, this is the place, California. It is in disc, the biggest tournament in the world, and we hope you enjoyed it. My name is Jeff Teoles from Pinball Profile. We hope to see you in 2024.